just has not been able to come to grips with him. Remember last year, he had kind of a lost weekend. We had all kinds of problems. He's the guy hoping for rain and hoping that these tires can help him move up. Yellow, yellow. Charlie Kimball is another one who put on the slick tires on that last caution, and it might have just cost him there. When you put slicks on in conditions like this, Scott, there is absolutely, you can't even go five inches offline. You have to stay on that dry section. And a look at a very mangled race car from the uh, Lemonbeer Flex Touch on board. You see the red sidewall, the softer tires, the alternate tire on the Kimball machine. And the follow-up to his fabulous Indianapolis 500 finish, where he was in the fight for the win in the closing laps, will not be what he wanted. You know, when you come out of turn one and go through turn two, you go up over the bump there where there's a creek underneath, and they've got that little bridge there. Let's watch here. Oh, he's sideways, guys. He's up over the brow, right where that bump is. He's already sideways, and when the car lands back on the ground, he's already pointed towards the wall. Now, here's his onboard. gets in the air and the tires come up and more difficult Eddie when you've got the slicks on because you know when you land you don't have the grip and that's really the worst kind when you yeah. overcorrect like that you go nose first into the wall if you spin and the back comes around that's one thing but he actually caught it and then lost it and went nose first and that that is a big hit that's a big impact that, that's a big chunk of cement that he just moved two or three feet back that's yeah. not a guardrail so third full course yellow out already in this race. And the good news, you did see Charlie climb from the car. The bad news is it has left a mess of debris and filter that through the fact that there's another race tomorrow that these crews have to get these cars ready to go call with. Some, I want to Carlo Italian. Saw Charlie Kimball take a pretty heavy hit a little while ago. Jan Vikas is with him. Yes, he's made his way back to pit lane. Will Power said, I don't want slicks. I want someone else to be the guinea pig. I guess you were it. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, there were a few of us on slicks there, and I was kind of leading the pack. And we'd caught up to the back of the train on wets, and uh, I just caught a puddle coming out of two, and it's so quick there. The car just snapped. And it was a shame, because I think that it was the right call. I just couldn't quite hold on to it. A case where you just have to stay very patient until it dries? Yeah, even then, you, you have to balance the aggression and the patience. And, you know, I think it was the right call by the Novo Nordis team. We just, uh, you know, maybe we're a little more aggressive than we were patient at that point. So it, it's a shame, but we'll come back tomorrow and have a good race. All right, that's one thing about double race weekend. Thank you, Charlie. Alan? You see Castro Nevins going by Sato. 